Hello everybody, welcome back. We've got another installment of Arcade and Live 2020 Beginner Series. Today we will be talking about video effects. So I'm not going to talk about everything, all of the effects, but I'll talk about the more important ones, at least the ones that I use myself personally, commonly. So we'll add a we'll add one video in here. Okay. So you've seen this video before, it's just the ocean, right? Now, adding effects, we can, you know, go to this tab here. Okay, so we've got a few here. We'll just go and look at a few of these. So we've got the alpha transform tab. Okay, we've got analysis and data, audio correction, which we looked at in the last video this is all for our audio files we've got some color some color stuff on here and then image adjustment okay so there's a lot to go through again i'm not going to go through everything we'll just go through some of the basic ones all right so i'm just going to close out all right let's start with the alpha and transform so this is basically just um you manipulating the size of the rotation of your video so one that i commonly use is this transform one so i will go over how to apply this effect so we'll drag down our video here and we'll ungroup it so we can remove the sound portion because that doesn't have sound anyway okay all right we'll apply the transform um, effect on here. So basically what we do is we just click that and drag it and add it here and we see the properties on here. We see there's a keyframe right for our transform. We can go over that a little bit later or maybe in another video but for now we'll just do some basic stuff. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to now move our clip around okay. You can move it that way or you can you know adjust the X variable or you can use your keyboard so I'll click here I can use my keyboard to move oh it's not moving around Machine. yeah I use my keyboard here key up key down same thing with your Y key up key down okay you can adjust the widths I can adjust the size so let's say we'll move it to 50 okay and we've got some tools that allow us to make some adjustments uh, really nicely so we can center this horizontally we can center it to the middle okay so we've got our resize clip now if you want to do something cool while we're along these lines let's go ahead and add maybe a few more videos on here to we'll add the dance one Yep, and we'll add uh, just this record player. Okay, so what we can do now, I'll show you an effect here that we can do, is we can align this to the bottom, and then align this to the right, okay? Basically, I'm gonna create four corners of four different videos, okay? So we add the, uh, the record player here on the video two track, okay? We'll apply the transform effect change the size to 50 all right i think you're getting the idea we'll align that to the right i oh, sorry to the left and we'll align it to the top so it looks like it's already aligned let's do one more here the dance one okay so the dance one here and this is the annoying bit that i don't like because when it splits out you have to keep creating tracks anyway we'll ungroup that We'll delete, we'll select this track, we'll apply the transform onto it, there we go, size 50%, I think you're getting the idea, align it down to the bottom, align it to the right, and look at this, we'll check this out. Now we might get some stutter here, again this is everything that's trying to play on the fly, so obviously yep, it's really slow, but when it renders out, so that's kind of the effects that you can get, okay? You can obviously add another video onto this part over here. But, yeah. So that's pretty much transform, okay? We'll get rid of some of these for now. 
Okay. So transform, as I mentioned, has a timeline function or a keyframe function. Okay. So we can do things like move this around a certain way. So let's say from we want to move this from here to the top left. Okay. So we'll play it a bit. And let's say at the four second mark, we want it up top here, around 428 anyway. So what we can do is we can add a keyframe, okay? So at that keyframe, what I want is I want it to be aligned to the left and aligned to the top, okay? So the first keyframe, if we rewind back, our video was here and on the second keyframe it's at the top here now when we play it it's gonna move okay so that's how we can do some basic animations all right so that's what you can do you can do movement okay let's uh, go back to our first keyframe here okay let's just center this okay all right now for our second keyframe, okay, I want it to be filling up the whole part of our canvas, of our screen. So I want it to change back to 100%, okay, and it looks like it's centered anyway, but we'll go ahead and be OCD about it and press the center buttons anyway. Alright, so now when we play this, this is going to grow to fill up our screen. There we go. Again, some really nice effects that you can do on your own, right, with the transform function. Um, you can add another keyframe if you want. So if you want this to kind of shrink back, so let's say around the eight second mark, okay, I'll add another keyframe. And at that point, I want it to come back down to, let's say I want it to disappear to zero. Oh, it doesn't let me do zero. Let's say I want it to just go down to 50%, back down to 50 and then I want it to be in the middle, okay? So let's swing it back to the beginning, so it's going to grow, and then it's going to shrink. Cool? All right, so this is one of the tools that I really like. Uh, we've got some other things that we can do here as well, we can do a rotate, okay? Let's just carry on with what we've got. So we'll add a keyframe and we wanna rotate this to, let's say, we'll do a, ro a 360 rotation, all right? So let's see what that looks like. So we'll just go back from the second keyframe, we'll play it, so it's going to shrink down, and it's going to rotate, there we go, cool, alright, one of my favorite um, uh, effects, okay, so you can experiment with the others, but uh, that's it for today for the transform, alright, we'll cover a, a few others here, we'll go ahead and delete that. Let's see, let's go through analysis and data. I don't really use any of these. I'll leave that up to you. It's a little bit more advanced. Color, color is a good one. So we can do uh, brightness. Let's see what brightness does. Obviously it changes the intensity, right? You can brighten up. It's also keyframable. So, all right, let's put this back down to Oh, not zero. All right, let's restore it to where it was. So 100 is our starting point. So from there, say we want to add a keyframe and we'll increase the brightness to 500. Oops, no, it doesn't like it. Five, 200, 300. Okay, 300. Let's go back. So it's just going to brighten it up, washes it out. So there you go. Uh, what's a colorize? Yeah.
yeah, you can do different colors, right? You can make adjustments. Again, it's up for you to, to play around with, but the same principle applies as far as the keyframes. If you see this, then it means it's a keyframeable effect. Okay. Um, I don't really use anything else here as well. Let's go to image adjustment. Fade in, fade out is one of the good ones. Okay. So we can do a fade in. So just really simple starts from a black screen and it fades your image in. Okay. Good for intros. Same with your fade out. It's good for outros. Really simple effects. Okay. And you can edit them here. When you click on the video, the, the video clip in your timeline, you can edit the properties here. Okay. You can delete as well. All right, what else? Let's try old film. Old film just, I think, just makes the film look old. Yeah, just gives it a bit of that stutter. That's kind of cool. Again, up to you to experiment with all this stuff. I think you can stack effects on top of each other. So let's just do an example, okay? Let's do transform. Although I would not recommend doing this because... Um, it kind of, um, it, the, the program tends to crash or tends to slow down or it act behaves a bit funny. So I would say, you know, maybe not go too hard on the effects, um, if you can. Um, so that's just my advice. So let's just add a blur as well. Okay. All right. So for the blur, so when I'm editing the blur, I can click it on here. So let's see. We'll bring it back to the first keyframe. So we'll get it blurred in the first keyframe. So 40 is our um, default. Okay, I think I'll increase it. I'll put it up to 600. So this is kind of cool. So that if you don't have that, you know, some fancy lenses and you want to do out of focus, in focus type of effect, I guess you can do this. So we'll play it for a bit. And let's say from here, we'll get it to focus back to our 40. Okay. So let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, I guess I didn't add it. So add a keyframe there. 600. At the first keyframe and the second keyframe yeah back to 40. all right let's have a look so it's blurred and then it gets into focus that's cool let's see if we can change the size to 50. again we're just experimenting here with stacking effects on top of each other all right so that looks good and let's put it at the middle all right so it's blurred and there you go. I guess it works okay. Again, we get some stutter because obviously it's trying to do this all on the fly. Okay, well, I think that covers it for all of the video effects that I wanted to talk about today. Again, not covering everything, but enough to really just get you started, okay? Again, the fun is experimenting, um, checking stuff out, trying all these different things. Obviously, you can apply the effects to your text titles as well if you want. If you want your text to move around, pictures, if you want your pictures to move around, increase, decrease in size, simple animations, you can do this way. Anyway, I think that ran a bit long, but thank you for your attention. Again, hope you enjoyed. Hope you help, uh, Hopefully, this helped you out, and I will see you on our next installment. Bye for now.